Hi everybody, in this video I'm taking my work and I'm combining it with my hobby. And one of the things that we do in our panel shop is unique vehicles. So this one, it's a golf car that we changed to look like a Mercedes and we spray it in candy red. And I'm trying to get making a ball that use the same technique of the candy red and putting it together. Now, how do I start? Piece of wood, and I'm going to create the outside of a ball. I'm using for this project a piece of yellow wood. It's a wood that grows in, in the Nizna area, in the wilderness in South Africa. It's a quite porous wood and a soft wood, but, um, and it doesn't have too many patterns, so I'm using this one. Now, if you're new to my channel, I think that's the right time to subscribe. Uh, and remember, it's very important to put some remarks. Um, so I know if you like it or don't like it. And what would you like me to change or what would you like me to do? And um, I will do. What I do at the moment, I'm creating um, a recess. And in the middle of the recess, I'm putting already, I'm creating for the future, I'm creating, um, how you call it, um, the place for my logo, my brass logo. And I'm going to give it um, a tail, a dovetail, so it will hold better in the chuck. And now that will be the, the base of the ball. And now I'm starting to create the shape of the ball that I want. Look how nice this carbide tool cuts the wood. It doesn't scrape it. A lot of people say you're scraping. I don't scrape. If you ever look at it now in this angle, you will see that I don't scrape. I actually cut. And this carbide tool cuts the, uh, the wood. Now I go to the shape that I want, but as I said, the yellow tail is a little bit porous. So instead of using a lot of sandpaper, what I'm doing is I'm using the, the black line V shape tool, increasing the speed and I cut it in an angle. It's very similar, like cutting with a skew and it will leave a very, very, very smooth uh, surface. It's almost, you don't need to use uh, sandpaper. I sandpaper it from um, 180 all the way to 400 only and you will see just now my next step to this uh, idea of mine doing exactly like at my body shop. To create a good reflection on paint you need to have a very strong and dark base. So first of all I'm going to spray uh, a black color um, on the wood and it will be the base of the chrome color that I'm going to put later and it's got another I decided to change it and give it also a little bit of a feature and it's another technique that I'm using that it wasn't done on the golf cart and that's the technique I'm just going to put on top of it uh, some remarks or some uh, shapes with a hot gun glue and you will see in the next step 
Why? And this is the next step. The second step of getting to where I want to get is um, I need to paint it with a silver color, with a chromic silver, as much as possible, shiny color. And that's a chromic color. Um, unfortunately, it was a little bit of a, of a sinking of the paint into the, into the wood because it's, like I said, it's a little bit porous. Now I turn it around and I'm start doing the, uh, the inside. But telling you that, I had to change, because of that, I had to change my plan. My plan was to spray paint the red candy with, um, with a normal automotive uh, paint, um, but using um, airbrush. And I decided that because of the sinkage of the paint into the wood, maybe I will mix my red candy um, with um, resin so i'm going to use the pigment of the red candy um, of the automotive red candy and i'll mix it with my um, resin and i will brush it on and i'll see how it comes out so because of the sinkage i had to change my plan but it should be the same thing um, Instead of painting it, I'm going to brush it on. As I left a very small recess in the back, um, I'll have to be very careful and uh, I won't put a lot of pressure. It'll take a little bit longer, but I won't put a lot of pressure. So I don't want it to jump off the, of the lead or crack the recess. Um, as I said, the wood is a little bit porous. So I'm going to go step by step, small bites, like I said before, the way that you eat an elephant, small bites. And now I'm going to go all the way from 120 all the way to 600. After that, I'm going to put Yorkshire grid because the inside I'm not going to do um, with resin and with paint. It's going to be Yorkshire grid. And after that, I'm going to put a um, B-Wax. Actually, it looks like this uh, while, um, this uh, yellow wood came out with a little bit of a pattern. Quite nice. I actually like it for the inside of the bowl. And I will put... Um, uh, the reason why I'm putting bee wax is that if I decide to put a little bit of fruit or something like that, the fruit bowl, that it will be in. Now, because I turn it around, um, that's a, the red piece is a, it's silicone. Um, and I created it so I can put a little bit of pressure without damaging the inside of the bowl. And it's also not going to leave marks and it's also going to be um, quite strong to turn the bowl around. Now you're asking yourself, Aaron, what are you doing? And I'm doing exactly what I planned to do from the beginning. I'm taking off the hot gun glue and by taking it off, I'm going to be left with the mark, with the black lines that was underneath the silver, underneath the chrome. So I'll have a pattern in black and the chrome. And hopefully the idea was that I will spray it or spray it with a, with a candy red. But now I'm going to put it with, um, you see, I'm putting it with a brush and with resin and not... Um, normal automotive paint and the idea was that it will 
shine in red and it will have those funny pattern like a tiger like a snake or something uh, just to give it another dimension when i'll finish with it i'll let it dry um, for 24 hours so I can just polish it if it's necessary. I'll cover it so there is no dust uh, will fall ov over it. And then tomorrow I'll put the logo on and I'll take some photos um, of it. What do you think? Did, uh, did I manage to do the project that I was planning to do? Uh, uh, I, I think I did. I think there you can see the reflection of the tree and the sun into the wood and the reflection of the silver through. Uh, I think it came out quite nice. I think in real life you see it much better than in the on camera. But in the meantime, if you like it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thumbs up or thumbs down. And don't forget to put remarks at the bottom and I will see you on my next video. Thank you for joining me on this video.